Greetings everyone and welcome back to a new segment I'm going to call Tool Time. And it's all about hacking tools and putting the spotlight on hacking tools that have come across a feed or maybe I've seen them in GitHub, something to that effect. And I'll share them with you good folks out there, my friends on the internet that I've never met before, but I'm sure you're very nice. And uh, I'm glad we got to this chance to hang out and dialogue. That said, sharing on the tip of my tongue there, would you do me the immense favor, look down below, find the share, like, subscribe, and notification bell, and comments away. Maybe do one and or all of those things. If you would be so kind, I would be much appreciative. All right, that said, today's tool will be SMAP, the Nmap-like Shodan IO scanner. That's right. Ooh, I bet you didn't even know you wanted that in your life, but here it is on a hot plate ready for you to devour its greatness. Well, what does that mean? Who knows? It's fun to say though. And uh, I'm, it's up a little late and I'm getting a little punchy, a little tired today, but that's all right. I'm gonna bring you this tool. Here it is, Nmap uh, or Smap, the passive Nmap-like scanner built with Shodan.io. I'll make sure to put this um, link to this GitHub rep repo in the in description for you good folks to enjoy and partake in its greatness. Really, it's a simple tool though. It basically is, uh, and here's a nice little write-up for it. It says, uh, SMAP is a replica of Nmap, which uses Shodan IO's free API for port scanning. It takes some command line arguments. Um, uh, if you're wondering where I'm looking at this, it's all right here in this block. It takes same command line, I would assume they meant the same command line arguments as Nmap and produces the same output, which makes it a drop-in replacement for Nmap. I will tip my hand a little bit. I have played with this for a hot second, not a lot, just, just a little bit. It's a neat tool, it's written in Go. And basically what it's doing is saying, hey, uh, you showed Dan to scan ports on the given target and then return that in Nmap-like output use nmap like switches so it's it's wanting to kind of build that parity between nmap and this new tool which is smap it's not 100 percent by any stretch of the imagination but we do have a couple of features like being able to scan 200 hosts per second that's pretty sweet it is fast doesn't require any api key so you don't have to have a login and an api key from shodan um, it says it does vulnerability detection. It just does port scanning as far as I've seen so far. I might be missing it. I haven't really, like I said, gotten into the guts of the thing. Uh, supports all Nmap output formats. Yep, so if you like that greppable or the .nmap output or XML, whatever you like, it is available. Uh, service and versioning, fingerprinting, it does do a bit of that. Uh, and makes no contact to the targets. Remember, you're kind of using Shodan as a bit of a proxy to do the scan for you, which we like, because then it doesn't finger you for the job. All right, let's see here. Binary, this is installation, right? You can download this uh, pre-built binary from here. We've got the manual way to do it. You got an AUR package, and then we get into usage. Let's look at usage and we'll come back to installation. We'll get it installed. SMAP takes the same arguments as NMAP, but options other than dash P dash H dash O and its ilk and dash L I L are ignored. So you're probably gonna get a lot. I know it does use dash S V. I know that because if you look right here, <laughs> it says S map dash S V right there. So maybe it's just ignoring that. Yeah, I think it does versioning by like default, but we'll see, right? Then you got your uh, dash IL. So if you had a list of targets, you could feed it a, a file that had targets inside of it. You do a dash IL and then the name of the file with the targets inside of it and it will do it. And then your target supported formats, you can use IP addresses, host names, or CIDR formatting. All right, then there's some output and that's where all those the switches that it talked about before with the output and there's all, oh, it even has JSON. So like OJ, that could be fun. I like using JSON. Specifying ports, you got the dash P option, which is available, and you give it the port range. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Uh, oh, this is interesting. Considerations. Since Nmap, or I'm sorry, Smap simply fetches existent port data from Shodan.io, it is super fast, 
but there's more to it. You should use SMAP if you want vulnerability detection, super fast port scanner, results from common ports. Oh, there it tells us the top 1,237 ports. No connection to be made to the targets. I do like that. Uh, and you'll also need to be okay with not being able to scan IPv6, results being up to seven days old, and a few false negatives. So there you go, pros and cons to everything. That said, let's let's get this installed and hammer down. Let's let's see what it'll do. Where's that? There it is. Binaries. Hit that. I'm gonna go with the easy way. I like the easy button because I'm gonna try to keep these tool time segments uh, sh a little shorter format. Try to keep them under 10 minutes if I can. All right. Look for your platform and architecture. So I'm running Linux, but we have Mac OS. We have Windows. And then a different uh, couple of architectures, so AMD 64, ARM 64, ARM 7. So find your poison. I am Linux AMD 64. Ding, 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 ding. That's what I'm looking for, right? I got the right one, yeah. And hit save file. Okay. It is getting downloaded, right? It looks like it has completed, and I'll take the coward's way out and use the GUI to make this easy and fast. Extract here, and did it, did it do anything? All right, all right, Gooey. I guess that that'll teach me. Bring the terminal up. Give me th th that's not the terminal I want. I wanted. I wanted this one. That was the one. I guess I got. There we go. I thought it was red, but I'm mistaken. Make this human readable, and because <laughs> that it was tiny. Right, CD into downloads, do an LS. Oh yeah, it's there. Just, I guess the GUI wasn't updating fast enough. Bam, there we go, we got SMAP. All right, let's run that monkey. SMAP should give you the help, which it does. Uh, let's do, because it's got an example for targets under target specification. Scanme.nmap.org looks like a great target because NMAP built that for practicing scanning so let's do it so i'm gonna clear and then just slash s map s map scan me dot nmap dot org that was smoking fast oh my goodness 0. 0.017 seconds that was blazing and it found ports open it gave me some versioning very very nmap like output so there you go that is s map in a nutshell, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it cool. It might be a, a neat edge case tool for you. And I, I'm, I'm guessing since this is the first iteration of this, as they continue to develop, we'll see more parity between it and Nmap. At least if I was developing it, that's what I would do. But hey, got to get out there and do some uh, Git cloning, get that thing, or I guess download the binary and run it, use it. You never know when it could come in handy. And hopefully now I've helped you out with that. That said, looks like I'm uh, done. That's it. That's SMAP. Call it in a day. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, keep hacking.